everyone, how's it going today? It's your boy the pastor. Today we're going to be doing the Charizard guide that I promised and soon after will be the Pokemon trainer guide. We're just going to jump right into it. Okay, so for starters, Charizard has a three hit jab. If you do one hit or if you do two hits, you can do a mix up, but it's not the best. I would just go for all three. Um, however, your mix up, if you want to just do a single hit that did 12 damage, you could just down tilt. It will space people away if they're in shield, so that they can't shield grab you. You typically can do two down tilts pretty quick. If you're playing neutral or something like that, it's a very quick move to toss out. So I recommend down tilt over jab unless you're trying to do shield pressure and catch someone dropping shield. Okay, or tilt. There's a weak hit and there's also a strong hit. Okay, one can technically combo into the other. The hard hit will kind of lock people up in the shield. However, it doesn't mean that it's safe on shield necessarily. So the very tip of it is pretty good, but I would pretty much back off and look for what they're gonna do afterwards. I wouldn't keep doing a forward tilt in the same spot. Okay, up tilt. Up tilt is a move that can hit from the front, it can hit from behind, and it covers everything on a platform pretty much. Try it again. There we go. Okay, so let me show you the back hit, how far it covers. So it can cover the center from Charizard's body line being at one of the edges. So if we put his wing kind of over there, as you can see, you technically actually can cover an entire platform. This move is broken. It really is. In fact, Charizard is the best out of all three Pokemon at juggling. And that's pretty much what he does. His up air, very nice. Uh, let's see, we covered all ground. Okay. Up air, it's a little hard to hit on the ground, but when you do get it, as you can see, I'm even struggling to get it. You can always get a combo off of it, but um, it's really not worth going for unless you have a platform next to you. You can do like a falling up air. You can do... Let's see. I'm just trying to juggle with it a little. Yeah. It, it's just a tough move to juggle with. It can combo into itself, but overall just not the best. Okay, we're gonna talk about neutral air. Neutral air is the one that I think is, and most people would just say this is the best one. Personally, it's the second best aerial in my opinion, but I'll explain which one is the best in a sec. Okay, neutral air, similar to forward tilt, you have a weak hit, whoops, and you also have the hard hit. Let me see if I can hit it real quick. Okay, there we go. The hard hit does 14, and the weak hit does nine. If you, the way that you know if you're getting the hard hit is you're hitting with the fire portion of the tail. Same with forward tilt, you gotta hit with the fire. Um, you can also hit it from behind. Let's see. Yeah, you can do it like that. I think sometimes, depending on the height of a character, you can hit the reverse hit of it too. Let's see. There we go. Right there was a tipper. So yeah, that, that tipper, it's the fastest when it comes out from behind, obviously, but uh, you have more combo time if you're comboing with it from the front. Down air is great. It, uh, it spikes, it's big. Um, it's kind of similar to, I want to say, a Charizard up air in a sense, only in, in the fact that both up air, for Charizard it feels a little weak for how slow it is, because it kills at the exact same time for Ivysaur. Um, it won't kill before Ivysaur's at all. It's pretty much the same thing, just a little bit delayed, and even Ivysaur has a little delay, so I'm not sure if that's a programming thing, or if they really wanted it to be the same, or what they were thinking. But, similar to down air. Down air for both of them can hit below ledge. I actually have a 
clip on my Instagram of me fighting a cloud player, and instead of uh, instead of using Ivy Sword to continue the stock, I switched to Charizard because I wanted the fire, and I knew I could just spike with him trying to recover with limit, and uh, I hit him through the stage. So down air is very good for being at ledge and hitting that. Um, you can also combo off of it. You know, we're in an awkward spot. You know, you can do it into grab. If you have percent on them, you can obviously get a spike into something. Whether it's, whoops. Yeah, you can do up smash, you can do up B. Let your imagination go wild with that neutral air if you really want. But ultimately, the best aerial is back air. Okay, back air is the best. Why? Yeah, you have a weak hit, but you have a tipper. You have a tipper with uh, with your fire. And not only does it send so far away, it kills really early, but look at this animation. Okay, let me actually slow it down. You notice how it starts low and it goes high? Because of that, if your opponent short hops or full hops, your back air will cover both from a short hop. Okay? So, let me bring it back to normal and I'll show that real quick. See how it can catch him at the very top and I just uh, did a short hop? This move is absolutely amazing in neutral. Oops. <laughs> this move is absolutely amazing in neutral and uh, really good for callouts. I mean, you can use neutral air too to try and string things along, but you know, you can do stuff like that. But part of me is like, if I can just get a back air, it's gonna send way further. And if I can space it too, it's gonna feel safer than it would for a, uh, a border or something like that. All right, so I think that covers all the ground moves, all the aerials. Let's go into specials real quick. All right, so the main neutral tool that you have that you use to space out everything is your fire breath. Fire breath, wherever the range is, that's what you're spacing with. You can land on shield with this and pressure, and get super close to them. It's not as great as Bowser's in the sense of uh, damage, but I do think this move is a little bit better because you can act out of it super quick. I think you can actually act out of it quicker than, um, than Bowser can. Uh, as I showed right now, you have Flare Blitz, which if you want to get this combo consistently, um, or if you want to hit this move consistently, there's a few ways to do it. I'll show you one or two ways real quick. One. Zero. If you're hitting like a neutral air and a down tilt, it trips. And you can look for a tech read to get that flare blitz does 51. You only take 12 from the flare blitz. I don't know if you guys know that, but you do take damage. So that's one way that you could just consistently get that. And then I'll show you another way real quick. This will have to do. See how they like kind of fall towards the platform? From like 0 to 10 you can just do that and it's a great way not to stale your back throw since your back throw is your main combo throw or your down throw for damage and anyways you're probably going to use forward throw for killing up throw for killing you if you're not going to use it for a while pretty much so if you want to use it at zero and you're thinking it doesn't really matter i can unstale this move with fire breath or something like that it really is a good option okay Next, obviously you know, you have down B, which is switch, I'm not gonna do it right now. And then you have up B. Up B has a lot of invincibility at the beginning of it, so if you wanna out of shield with this move, you can actually out of shield early when it's technically unsafe for other characters, and you will win out the trade. This is, oh man, this move is so strong. It does 20 damage, and I think I kill characters like Pikachu close to 80 or 90 percent. So, <clears throat> why play Charizard? Why not play Charizard? Let's talk about it real quick. Um, Charizard is quick. He has all the moves to be the most offensive of the Pokemon. Very good reason to play him. 
You also have a lot of strength. You have good range. You're not very laggy or anything like that. You have tools on the ground to help you. You have, um, you have hard read moves. Let's just say, like, it's a player and they like to roll or they like to do grounded options, so he's going to dash dance a little out of shield. You can just flare blitz, and you'll just cover whatever they do that's not shield for the most part, right? And if they jump, you have forward air, you have back air, um, you can flare blitz in the air if you want. You could also just... You can go for like an up air and then a juggle combo um, and keep them in the air with your up tilt since this move is so broken. Pretty much, Charizard is statistically, as far as like mobility and whatnot, he's the best character. You know, and one of the best things you can do is retreating fire or a B reverse fire. Um, Running back and forth in neutral, you could even jump backwards, and then you could B reverse it. Oops. There we go. And uh, you can actually create a lot of space between you and your opponent. So he has some really good stuff to win neutral. However, um, obviously, Squirtle is going to be the one that you really want. And that's kind of an advantage that you have when you swap, because you go so small with Squirtle. So if you're thinking, man, like... This person, they're really looking at a way to hit me, and you can just make it harder on them by going to one of these two small guys in comparison. So that really helps. Okay. So that's kind of the pros of Charizard is that he's really big, um, really powerful, really fast, lots of jumps, can camp in different ways, either in the air or retreating on the ground, and you can't do much about it because of his fire. Um, it's, it's broken. What's bad about him? Well, obviously, he's big. So he's going to get comboed. Um, and I mean, some characters literally will have a free zero to death on Charizard, and it's really not fun. And you kind of have to either mash for swap or mash for up B. I would rather... I would say if you're going to mash for one or the other, mash for swap. Because swap will... Even though you're not going to hit your opponent back... A lot of people will try and bait out the up B so that they get like a, a hard forward smash or whatever to finish off their long combo. But if you're finding a character who's kind of floaty, like let's say Sora. Sora's a character that if they're drifting into you and you know it, you can just up B and they're dead. If they're drifting away from you, you're probably getting baited into up being and you could try to do something else out of shield because they're going to retreat anyways. Okay. So that's kind of the pros and cons. Um, is there anything else to say? Back throw combos are the best. That back throw back air, you can do a lot of stuff out of back throw. Um, at zero, you can combo dash attack. But honestly, like you go for that back air and then you try and mess with their recovery. So good. So good. So important. Um, I guess the only thing I'm going to do is kind of continue talking about throws. So, down throw is your... It's not even like a damaging throw. It's it's really not that great. It'll combo into forward air. That's really it. Kind of sucks. I would always say go for your back throw. Whoops. <laughs> because this move, look, even if someone air dodges out... Or something like that or if they decide not to do anything they're just waiting for you to do a back air and they're like oh I'm not gonna die you could just flare blitz them you know so back throw is just better because way more mix-ups you can hit with way more different things dash attack neutral air back air flare blitz it, it's crazy your fourth throw is just a kill throw you can position with it but um, and, Back throw is, I guess, kind of a kill throw too, but honestly, fourth throw has more strength. Up throw is obviously a kill throw, though you can combo with it. I don't recommend it, though. People can DI out of the combos. Uh, typically, if they're DIing out, they don't go as high, which is where they get trapped on platforms, meaning you can do a free flare blitz if they don't attack. All right, so around 150 for Rob, I guess, is up throw. However, at this percent, if you're by ledge... Um, 
say like you're here and you grab them. You probably want to do forward throw anyways, but it really, your throws, up throw and forward throw are a DI mix up. Because to survive your forward throw, you need to DI up, and to survive up throw, you need to DI forward. So when you grab them, and when you're here at the ledge, what I like to do is I like to primarily do up throw and let them DI out to try and live. Make them, if, if I grab them again, let's say I had to do a, a pivot grab or something like that. Then I'm going to do forward throw because now they're DI'ing at that last zone. So, use those two throws to mix up. Other than that, your back throw, once again, it's not really going to like. So you roll behind and do it. They're going to live that. They can live that so easily. Um, so, it just honestly, try and stick with forward throw and try to stick with your up throw. Okay. I think that's pretty much everything I want to talk about. Um, yeah, Charizard, movement-wise, is technically the best. Has one of the best defensive tools in Fire Breath. Use that a lot because it's your spacing move. You're always looking for grabs. You're looking for ways to get trips with your down tilt. Um, all these things are very important. I would say those are like the main things. Trip with down tilt, Fire Breath, Play super defensive with platforms, camp in the air, camp on the ground, and if you really need to mix up the pace or switch it up on your opponent as far as your size goes, you have a great character named Squirtle who is very small. So, with that being said, this is the Charizard Guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it.